And tonight, former President Donald Trump addressed voters at a rally in Charlotte. You know, I was supposed to be nice. They say something happened to me when I got shot. I became nice. And when you're dealing with these people, they're very dangerous people. When you're dealing with them, you can't be too nice. You really can't be. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to be nice. Is that okay? Trump took the stage late this afternoon at the Bojangles Coliseum to an enthusiastic crowd. Some waited in line for hours to see the former president speak and still didn't make it inside. Our Sydney Shadricks has been there all day and spoke with voters after the rally. All is quiet right now at the Bojangles Coliseum after a day many people spent waiting in line in the heat for hours, waiting to hear former President Donald Trump speak. And for some, it was a moment they didn't think they would get to see at all, waiting in line up until the very last second. Inside the Coliseum, nearly every seat filled. In fact, moments before the former president started speaking, more people came inside to fill the standing room. After being worried, they tell us that they weren't going to get in at all. We spoke to some who traveled from states away from across the country to hear the former president speak. Others who say they made the decision to attend at the last minute. There was not going to be a rally in California, and I've always wanted to go to a Trump rally. And so I have family here in North Carolina, and I got on the, fl the next flight out of California to make it to this rally. We were very happy to support him. I, was, I, I felt very grateful. It was a spur of the moment decision. The energy was just crazy. It was, it was really, really, I mean, the Rolling Stones couldn't have had more energy than what he has. The former president spent much of his time speaking about his now likely opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, saying he thinks she's unfit to lead the country. According to the former president's campaign website, his next rally will take place on Saturday in Minnesota. In Charlotte, Sydney Shadricks, WIFF News 4. Thank you, Sydney. Remember, WYFF News 4 is your home for Commitment 2024 coverage. Just head to WYFF4.com or visit our mobile app as we count down to the November election.